ladies and gentle people, let's start this video out with some good news. Is our son finally going to make it to the party? Maybe. Please, says Sarah Housil. Jim Hughes, I had mentioned to someone a while back that the second half of April might get interesting. Sun looks to be trying to wake up, but we will see some solar flaring if these areas develop into sunspot regions. There have only been six C-class flares in 2021. So far, is the sun ready to pop? I hope so. And this is important because empires fall during solar minimums, which we had at the end of 2019, and they rise during solar maximums, which should happen around 2025. So for the sun to be showing three to four sunspots with four years left to go to the solar maximum, that is super duper great news. Southern sunspot activity, the sun's southern hemisphere is showing signs of life. Three sunspots are growing there. Their dark cores are inset in this surface magnetogram from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. And technically, we have four spots to watch. We have the sunspot, which is facing Earth now, and then one, two, three, so a total of four spots to watch. And like I've said, the sun has exceeded in, solar, in sunspot progression and solar flux, NASA and NOAA projections and predictions for the last eight months. So the chances of going to a solar minimum are pretty much zero. As good news, because civilization has had a mighty rough time the last few years. And I hate to inform you guys, but the Eris energy has just been abound. That's right. We had the Eris conjunction on the 13th of April. And Eris is the planet that got Pluto demoted and then NASA went silent about it starting around 2005. And so it is a weird planet and it always seems to bring very negative energy. And five days after the Eris conjunction or alignment, we look for a major storm somewhere on the planet. And so the 17th and 18th, we're definitely watching out. And we hit G1 geomagnetic storm conditions last night. So we'll be on the lookout for more earthquakes and volcanoes. And apparently that geomagnetic storm was unexpected. A minor G1 class geomagnetic storm occurred during the early hours of April 15th when a crack opened in Earth's magnetic field. And so, yeah, things are definitely getting more interesting. No one ever said the future would be boring. And right now we watch as winter, spring, and summer are duking it out. You get a bit of summer over here. Get a bring of winter over here, and then you get the spring flooding down in Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama as they've been getting hit hard by storms again and again and again and again and again and again and again. We are watching for possible severe weather over Texas as we have storms moving through. So stay weather aware, y'all. Also, over the next seven days, Florida definitely be weather aware because you guys are just going to be getting trailing storm after trailing storm after trailing storm, which could lead to some serious flooding in some areas. And I'm going to guess a new sinkhole or two. And I'm going to guess we will probably see some snow in parts of the United States all the way into next month. But what we're looking at here is the mixed precipitation for the lower 48. And you can see that we are getting all different types of snow, sleet rain flooding rain heavy rain stinging rain in different parts of the region and we're definitely watching out for a low system that may pack a punch for the northeast the 17th the 18th 16th the big date we're looking out for all right here we are looking at a tsunami impact in greenland due to a landslide which apparently slid into the ocean and caused a tsunami which definitely disrupted several people's day. I'll have to check in for more information on that, but watch as the water comes surging in and definitely causes problems for quite a few people. We are tracking that low, which is going to retrograde over Boston, Brookhaven, and Northeast areas, which is going to bring snow and rain and windy conditions to some people through the weekend. And I will continue to monitor that for you guys, because that's what I do. A good reminder that one month from now, they begin to issue Atlantic Tropical Storm 
updates because we will be entering hurricane season soon. Tropical storm Surige drifting westward just north of Palu this morning. Strong tropical storm conditions are occurring on Koror. Conditions should begin to improve late tonight or early Saturday. Hey, remember to always choose your words carefully and to enjoy dry hump day as best as possible? Question mark. I highly recommend everyone check out a song called Astronaut in the Ocean by Masked Wolf. Um, it's the best Astro Fight Club song I've heard in a long time. Daniel Grant wants to know, are you ready for it? We're talking 48 inches of snow for like Boulder and then 6 to 12, that would be a foot for like Evergreen. And so yeah, snow is going to be continue to be into the picture into next month. Who's ready for some real life Florida Dukes of Hazard type shiz? Well, here we see a car jumping a bridge, which actually looks pretty front, but they broke the arm, which seems illegal. I mean, you can't just drive through infrastructure. I mean, technically you can, but I think that's illegal. Brady G continuing to do a great job. Pretty easy to see what's going to make this NAM run even better than the last for snow lovers. The upper level low stacks align with surface low a bit better and tad more northwest, but more wound up, allowing for a little more amplification, a.k.a. more snow. Impressive. And so this will fall in the 17th, 18th window for a bigger storm we might be looking for around five days after the air alignment. Man, people in the Northeast sure love their snow. Yeah, it looks like it will be kind of hot in the West, and then it will get a cool down in the center of the USA, and then it'll be kind of nominal to the East, if that's how you want to read it. Everything's always subject to change, though. And also remember, with an Eris alignment with Mercury on the 17th, look for a day of people arguing, riots, just angry communications. There's a lot of energy in April. In the last week or two, we had a Venus conjunction um, with Eris, and we have Mercury coming up, and then with the sun coming up, So, or we just had the sun. So, yeah, Eris is like discord, anger, disharmony, stuff like that. If I mentioned that I appreciate you and I think that you are awesome and that I'm proud of you for surviving all the shit that we've been through since 2012, it's been quite a lot, in my opinion. But yeah, Ben Freshetta. So Boston Mets, are we thinking blizzard conditions or light rain showers tomorrow evening? So, you know, it could be a bust snow wise for some areas and it could be a boon snow wise for some areas. You got to pay attention. I don't know, man. As planetary defense commander, I do what I can to make sure that people don't die. So me getting all hung up on how many inches of snow people do or don't get, it's not really my thing. Unless we get to like over 40 or 50 inches, you know, then you got to like prepare people because you don't want to lose people. At least I don't. I, although I'm sure there are people out there who are turning dead people into crypto money. Uh, what? Hey, Texans, let's stay aware. Storm chances extended towards the Florida Panhandle and Big Bend. High hail chances in Middle Texas is for today. Because, you know, it's like when hail freezes over in the upper atmosphere and then drops down to Earth. Um, yeah, and so it's been a very haily week, yo. The La Soufrière volcano in St. Vincent in the Grenadines is doing its own terraforming, although it has calmed down for a bit. Um, watch for it to make more eruptions in the near future. Parts of the southeast got hit hard, like Alabama and Mississippi, as we just keep having storm after storm hit that area. And remember, flood season is just starting to begin now, and it runs all the way into like a month or two of the start of hurricane season. When the weather outside is frightful. I'm almost 18 inches have fallen across parts of Utah over the last 36 hours, and snow is expected to continue into Thursday, which is today. But yeah, just watch. This may be our air storm. So just keep an eye on it if you're in the Northeast. Utah saw all different types of spring on Wednesday with hail in Orem and snow in Cottonwood Canyon. But I don't want to downplay the volcano action in Soufrière because it is pouring out pyroclastic flow, which is like the 1500 degree temperature mud. 
and the island has become uninhabitable for a lot of people that are there, and it's a super crisis situation. The aerosol plumes, mostly tiny droplets of sulfuric acid in the stratosphere, as well as some very fine ash particles, have been traveling across stretches in the northern hemisphere. Hey, how good are you? Can you guess which volcano this is? If you guessed Iceland, you are wrong. This is Pacaya in Guatemala, as the earthquake and volcano activity is at the highest levels, well, volcano activity is at the highest levels I can ever remember in my lifetime. And people of St. Vincent are being warned that the humanitarian crisis will last for months. All right, so fight, flight, or surf, baby. Asteroid Fight Club 2021. It's all next level, all the time. And, like I said, be prepared. It's going to be weird Eris energy with people fighting and riots and stuff up until the full moon around the 27th. And that will be in Scorpio. And everybody loves scorpions. Asterisk. Okay, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting energy for the last two weeks of the month. But I'll be here for you guys. Because it's what I do. And we are pretty tough. We are pretty smart. And we are pretty capable. Okay. Everybody, have a great day, and I will talk to you all in the near future. Peace out. God bless everyone, and I appreciate all y'all.